Oh, didn't mean to barge in on you guys. I was kind of wondering uh, what was on the to-do list for today. Well, we're about to leave for the land. We're going to be pounding the first tire of the Airship-inspired greenhouse, the first structure going up on land in Baal, Montreal. For this first tire, we're going to have a little opening ceremony uh, to bless the land and make sure that everything is well in days to come. So guys, what's going on? So the story goes that I woke up this morning and I had a task. And that task was to feed a lot of people. So we're going to go to the land and we're going to lay the first tire. I'm so excited to lay that first tire. Me too. Ugh, awesome. Seems like just yesterday we were locked up in the winter beside the fire playing songs and dreaming of this moment. Yeah, it's going to be great. Now it's going to happen. Are you going to be helping the, the claim Chef X? For sure, of course, it's my butt. So, looks like today for lunch we're gonna have some frijoles with arroz, frijoles con arroz, and um, <laughs> I'm gonna just look at the volunteers and see what kind of appetite they have. I'm gonna judge their character and then uh, from there choose what kind of other sides I'm gonna make, you know, because the salad can vary and I might get some tortillas, I'm not sure. So, you can get personal with the volunteers? I always get personal. Here we have the frijoles, which I've soaked overnight. In order to get that soft and friendly texture, we have to, it's a lengthy process. We have to soak overnight, and then preferably cook twice. So we're off to the land to lay that first tire. I'm gonna call her Firsty. I'm gonna remember where she's placed. So you guys have anything to say about the first tire? <laughs> Thank you for your input. <laughs> it's the first tire, guys. Come on. So I just did a head count and there's about 16 people on the land right now, which means I'll probably have to cook for 16 to 20. C'est looking possible, c'est looking possible. Jordan, I know they're speaking in French, but do you understand? What is going on? I just keep, keep hearing 235, 235. Ça, c'est bon. 235 everywhere, so I don't know. 235. Uh, we just finished to set up all the rocks under the, uh, the tires. We have a good foundation. And then we also did all the drainage that you can see there with the geotextile. The reason why I did that is finally we have three quarter clean, three quarter rocks under. So it will give you a much better drainage if we protect it. Okay. So I decided to do plastic everywhere instead. Very good. All right, so now you just need a dirt pitch, which will be Michelle and Oli today. <laughs> so can you give me some ah, dirt pitch? <laughs> dirt pitch. Okay, give me some more dirt. So at the beginning it's just with your hands. Yeah. You just put it on each side. Oops. Oops. With some garbage. Why not? Which is yeah, which is fine. I thought, yeah, I thought that was okay, yeah. There you go. Cool. And then Audrey, because she has much better boots than I do right now, gotta get in there and hit with her toes. It's just important to hit under the, the lip here. More dirt, please. Oh, dirt. Find that. Okay, it doesn't look like it's your first tire, Francis. We're getting pretty close, but it's not quite enough. Pretty much you just keep doing that for a little bit more. When you when it's good enough, you will level it. If you press on it, it shouldn't go down. But if you hit really hard, it's okay if it goes down a little bit. And then you just level it and the ideal is to level it in the in an X X shape, like this and it, this. And the reason for that is that's where the next tire will sit. 
see this side will need to go up okay so I'm gonna have to bring this one up and then this this is almost perfect okay when we're talking about just a tiny bit more I wouldn't so with this I wouldn't play with that but I would bring this up more so now I know I need to pound more on this side so I go on this side and come back that dirt bring it up adjust it re-level and when I'm once I'm good I'm good once you have one tire that's finished each tire, each other tire you're going to be doing, you're just going to level it to the other tire as well. So you're going to be checking here. Doesn't need to be perfect, but you don't want to be like two inches off or something like that. So it should not be a problem. All right. So that's it. This is the first tire that has been laid for the Earthship inspired greenhouse. I just want us to think about happy thoughts and to send as much love to this tire as we can for the next few seconds. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, do do do. Yeah. It's probably the tire that received the most love ever. <laughs> pound, pound, pound in tires. Pound, pound, pound in tires. Pound, pound, pound in tires. So the group is doing amazing right now, as you can see. Uh, the goal like, uh, is just to get it going yeah. because it's much more about ends rents than uh, just doing it like, one okay. one big shot. So yeah, bringing a lot of dirt in those tires as you can see and then pounding it slowly but surely and uh, we'll get there. It is really hot today too so gotta be careful with that. Pound in tires. Pound, 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 <laughs> Hello, you have successfully done the first tire. How do you feel? I feel accomplished, but like I need to do more. Except my job is back home at the kitchen. We all have superpowers here at Valhalla. And there's one that is very present and very pronounced. And that is the power of ShipX. So the volunteers are doing a great job. Phenomenal. Ow! It's hot. It's really hot out there. And, um... Unfortunately, they skip breakfast, so they want their food now. And unfortunately, my frijoles con arroz will take at least an hour for me to prepare once I get to the house. So emergency calls upon Chef X to charge his powers. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to deliver around 20 to 30 sandwiches. Uh, there's going to be a variety of veggie sandwiches and a variety of meat sandwiches with cold cuts. And um, I'm, going to, I'm going to deliver that within one hour. So we're going to Adonis, our local Arab influence grocer, and over there we're going to pick up some uh, breads, some pickled veggies for our veggie option sandwiches, some turkey cold cut, and uh, maybe some Dijon. Hot. Seven dollars for almost a liter of Dijon, that's a deal. What's the cheapest turkey? I guess it depends on the bread I choose. We're, I'm gonna go choose the bread first. I'll be right back. We're gonna start with the bread before choosing our turkey. It just makes sense. The bread is your foundation on which you build your sandwich. And at that point, we then choose all the aesthetics and the decor of the interior design of the sandwich. I'm sorry, man. If the Arabs lack in anything, it's the bread. We're gonna have to make do what we have. I think this one might be the best one in the house. Can I try the aubergine? Please? Thank you. Thank you. What are you doing? We're doing a video. confidential information.
Every good meal starts with washing the hands. These are grown from our garden, by the way. Look at that. Look at that nice, juicy tomato. It's getting a little messy, but that's okay. It'll still taste good. Right now, I'm cutting bread. This is bread number uh, 14. Once they're cut, I'm gonna dice up some veggie, some vegetables, and we're gonna start the conveyor belt of sandwich making. Our hot Dijon. Our hot Dijon. I'm putting Dijon in my sandwich, putting Dijon in my sandwich. You better know that it's really, really hot. Really, really hot, spicy Dijon in my sandwich. Really hot, spicy Dijon in my sandwich. We are done. Turns out we didn't have enough ingredients to make the whole 24, but I made 21. Good job, Chloe. Yeah. yeah. Gotta protect the seats of the Echo. My Silver Surfer, you know, has lasted me 10 years, and it's because I've cared about her. There we go. Can't drive without keys. 21 sandwiches, one dream, one salad, one salad dressing, one. Let's go. Meat and uh, veggie sandwiches for everybody. And uh, thought I counted more, so there might be some people might be able to get two. No problem, guys. My pleasure. I'm sorry I couldn't get here quicker. It's all homemade. Thank you. Let's go. Yeah, the vegetarian is really dope. I'm a huge fan of the vegetarian one. Okay. When you watch his videos, you would think that there's like three cameramen. <laughs> it's crazy. This one has Swiss cheese. How was lunch, Francis? Oh, late but delicious. <laughs> 21 sandwiches, one hour, done. Thank you, Lauren. <laughs> thank you, Lawrence. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> Frijoles is Spanish for rat turd. No, I'm joking. It's beans. Traditionally eaten in the uh, sub American culture or the southern American culture. And by southern, I mean Latino American. Espanoles from the south and uh, it's a filling meal and it's very delicious and it's very scrumptious and people are going to be licking their plate for more.